all day as well. That's from 8 till 3. Deadline to register to vote November's election is October 9th. Well, it was the Seminole Indians who first discovered Wikiwachi, giving it the name. Uh, it means Little Spring. I just learned that today. But then in 1947, a man named Newton Perry turned it into something even more magical. Terry Tomlin shows us the magic in this morning's Everyday Adventures. We're here at Wikiwachi Springs State Park. This is one of the state's oldest tourist attractions. The mermaids here have been swimming their tails off since 1947. So we're going to hit the water and take a dip. The mermen and the Navy SEALs. Newton Perry knew he had found something special when he first set eyes upon the spot the Seminoles had named Wikiwachi, or Little Spring. The first magnitude spring, which discharges 170 million gallons of crystal clear water every day, had been an impromptu dumping ground. Perry, who had trained underwater demolition teams during World War II, cleaned out the old rusted refrigerators and began experimenting with diving equipment. Newt, as Perry was known to his friends, taught some local girls to do aquatic ballet while breathing off air hoses under 20 feet of water, and people lined up to have a look. So, Mermaid Stacy, it must be exciting being a mermaid. Oh, it's very exciting. I love it. Do you spend all your day in the water? Do you come out on land every now and then? or? Uh, once in a while, we come out to dry off our fins a little bit, but most of the day, we're underwater. Now, it must be every little girl's dream to be a mermaid. Uh, definitely. I think every little girl and sometimes adult girls as well have dreams of being a mermaid one day, and I actually get to live it. So tell us a little bit about the springs. Well, uh, Wikiwachi Springs is a first magnitude spring. There's 117 million gallons of water coming out of the aquifer on a daily basis. It's 72 degrees year round and 99.8% pure spring water. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really Florida at its best. But just a few hundred feet from this classic Florida attraction, the Wikiwachi River begins its 12 mile run to the Gulf of Mexico. This pristine waterway, most of which is protected, serves as a home to alligators, otters, and the endangered West Indian manatee. Buccaneer Bay is actually Florida's only spring-fed water park, where the public can actually go into the spring itself, swim in the, the pristine waters, and then the water slides exit our guests into the spring itself as well. So we think it's one of the best water parks in Florida. And when you're done swimming, it seems like you have a lot of other things for people to do. We do. We've got the riverboat cruise that takes our guests a little bit further down the Wikiwachi River so they can see some of Florida's natural habitat in its natural setting, as well as an animal-slash-reptile show where we actually bring out snakes, alligators for the public to sometimes pet, but at least let, tell them a little bit about their habitat and, and what to expect if they ever run across one of them uh, during their trip here in Florida. Well, the sun's starting to climb pretty high in the sky, and it's getting a little hot out here, so I just got to get in this nice, cool, clear water. Until next time, I'm Terry Tomlin with your everyday adventure at Wikiwachi State Park. Love that music. You know what? You can find all Terry's uh, other adventures that he's had. Just go to abcactionnews.com slash everydayadventures or something like that. Coming up, yeah, we have the uh, details. Well, it's, you know, I, I couldn't look down and say everyday adventures. You got it. I'm drinking, I'm drinking coffee with water. You're excused from any blunders this morning. Water. <laughs> you read it. Still to come this morning, big <laughs> beach party today uh, to watch the Rays. Mm. We will tell you where to go for that. Plus, this is yummy. World famous fishermen come to the Bay Area. You see them all gathered here, sharing their findings on where the Gulf stands two years after the oil spill. We'll talk about that. He broke the rules.